This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. Welcome to the Lila Lab, housed in the Plants for Human Health Institute on the North Carolina Research Campus. Here, scientists study two things close to people's hearts, food and its effect on your health. We really concentrate on foods that have a long history of traditional human use. With 30 years of research under her lab jacket, you could call Dr. Mary and Lila the rock star of blueberry research. Her bright blue eyes light up at the mention of the tiny blue fruit. Blueberries, you can use them in savories, you can use them in, in desserts, you can throw them on your oatmeal in the morning, everything. Blueberries aren't just tasty, they're also incredibly beneficial for your health, helping combat cognitive decline with aging, boost your immune system, and control diabetes. They have ways of sequestering glucose that would be in the blood into organs and get them out of the system. They have a way of increasing insulin sensitivity. And by increasing insulin sensitivity, blueberries have the potential to help diabetics lower their blood glucose level. Dr. Lila studied the effect of blueberries on obese mice, discovering they lowered blood glucose levels as effectively as metformin, a drug commonly prescribed by doctors for patients with type 2 diabetes. So really putting the science, the real science behind what is working, it's not just um, eating a berry, but really realizing what's in that berry. Turns out one component of the blueberry helping lower blood glucose levels is also responsible for its vibrant blue color. The very same pigment that I'm talking about that, that is the active, phytoactive compound for diabetes. As these machines spin around and around, they extract this compound from the blueberries, allowing Dr. Lila to study berries down to the molecular level. We're finding it's not just the highest level and eat more and you're going to be better, but really it's very specific on which, which anthocyanins inside of that plant are bioavailable, which, which get into your bloodstream, which, which hit the target organs, and how, how can we maximize that. Now the blueberries Dr. Lila uses in the lab can be found at most local grocery stores. Matter of fact, we found them just down the road at this local food lion in the freezer section. Now what sets these blueberries apart is they're called low bush berries, which means they grow in the wild. We also caught up with some shoppers to see how often they eat blueberries. I try to eat them at least once or twice a week. Every day. You eat blueberries every day? I do. <laughs> Kathy DuPont says she eats them to help with her memory. So hearing blueberries can also help with diabetes was... An added bonus. That's a good thing because yeah. it runs in my family. Trinetta Williams says she puts blueberries in her yogurt. Hearing they can help with things like diabetes came as news to her. Oh wow. Did you know any of that? No, I didn't. And knowing this encourages her to eat them more often. Yeah, I'll <laughs> eat them more now. Dr. Lila hopes her research encourages others to do the same, recommending one cup of blueberries a day. If it's a food, immediately it can be effective. I think that's great. And it's affordable, available. Exactly. And the evidence is so overwhelming for blueberries and human health. It's a no-brainer. It's something that people should incorporate in their diet. In the building next door, another researcher studies how the food we eat leads to insulin resistance. My research is, tr is trying to figure out the mechanism, how this happened, and then tell people uh, how to prevent it and when to prevent it. He says research shows insulin resistance develops about 20 years before someone is diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Now he's focusing on preventing diabetes altogether by creating a device people can use to monitor their insulin level at home and also effective supplements people can take uh, to reverse insulin resistance. While you shouldn't expect to see a prescription for blueberries anytime soon, it can't hurt to put a scoop of them in your smoothie or throw a few in your cereal, adding a pop of color and a lot of nutrients. For Carolina Impact, I'm Danielle Koser reporting.